Empire Talk this morning, Andrew Keen, president of KeenOnTheMarket.com, joins us. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Angie. How are you? So you're here. I'm doing well. I want to talk about this retailer, though, that has not been doing well over the past year. It's Express. It's popular with teens, 20-somethings, 30-somethings. It reports earnings today. What do you see in the charts on this one, Andrew? Yeah, if you look at it, you know, gapped higher from $13.80 to $17 in private equity. You know, it's recently selling off. They had reported earnings this morning. They have about 600 stores. The stock has been underperforming year to date. Down about 22% year to date. You know, this is a kind of stock, kind of like AEO and ARO, where a lot of bad news is built into it. I'm going to see if it can test down to 1380. If there's some buyers coming to the market, I would like to get long at that level. But right now, I don't want to have a position. I'm just. And yet. this is definitely a trade, correct? Yeah, it's definitely a trade. You know, if I've been to those stores before. I probably haven't been in 15 years. Um, but ARO, AEO, and Express are the exact same business model. A lot of the bad news is factored into it. Maybe if there's another private equity deal, it can get a, t you know, it can. Get Get a bid. 1380 is a key level to keep an eye on. I also am watching what's going on in the oil patch. Some of these stocks are starting to catch a bit here, including Petrobras. What do you think about that one? Oh, PBBR has been on fire. We've seen a lot of institutional buyers of upside calls. It's bullish activity in PBR. I, I actually do not have a position on that one. Uh, at NOV has also got a bid. We saw Halliburton calls being bought. Another one we saw was Oxy, OXY. Big institutional buyer and call spreads in January. Someone thinks these oil names are going higher. One more to mention, MRO. We saw some bullish activity yesterday in MRO. Um, you know, I've been in and out of the space. Currently, I am out of the space. But the bulls are definitely in this space, so why? I don't know. You know, we see oil continuing to move lower. People think it's going down to $85. You know, you have the refiners that aren't doing that well. You know, the Valeros, the MPCs, um, Tessero, those were ripping higher recently and they started to back off the last couple of days. But, you know, the oil name is still a hot LNG Chenier. Keep an eye on that one. Any pullback should be bought in Chenier. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you.